Okay, hydrocarbon derivatives. So a hydrocarbon that has an atom other than a carbon or hydrogen is called a hydrocarbon derivative. And the atoms that are added are called functional groups. They're classified into functional groups. So a functional group is a group of atoms or an atom, an atom or a group of atoms that is responsible for some of the chemical and physical properties of those compounds. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the functional groups that we're going to be studying. So we've actually already know a couple of functional groups because of the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. So if you are carbons that have single bonds and you're just a hydrocarbon, just carbon and hydrogen, then you are an alkane. Your suffix is A-N-E. If you have a double bond and you only contain carbons and hydrogens, you are an alkene. Your suffix is E-N-E. And if you are carbons and hydrogens and you contain a triple bond, you are an alkyne, and your suffix is Y-N-E, and it's pronounced "-ein". Now, if you are a carbon, and you are bonded to an atom X, where X is a halogen, so chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, then you are a halo alkane, and it's also referred to as an alkyl halide. In this case, we have a prefix, and the prefix uh, is halo, where the halo is the halogen. So it's chloro or bromo, etc. So it's the halogen ending in O, then your alkane name. Uh, we have a functional group where a carbon is bonded to an OH group. This is called a hydroxyl hydroxyl group. And it's actually not a base. It's not basic. It's actually slightly acidic. And a hydroxyl group is classification for alcohols. So alcohols. All alcohols are poisonous. Even the ethanol that's consumed in our beverages but 
they're all toxic. Just that one happens to be uh, less toxic. But it can still kill you. Um, prefix. No prefix. It's a suffix and all of the alcohols end in the two letters O-L. Or all. Alcohol. Ethanol. Methanol. Okay, the next functional group is called a carbonyl. And depending on where it is in a compound depends, sorry, determines its actual classification. So, if you've got a carbonyl group in between two other carbons, it is actually called a ketone. So this is a group of compound called ketones, and they have a suffix of O-N-E. So butanone, propanone. If a carbonyl group is on the end of a carbon chain, and there is also a hydrogen attached, this is classified differently, it's classified as an aldehyde. So this is when the carbonyl group is on the very end of the carbon chain. So there's a C double bond O and an H single bonded to that carbon also. And this has a prefix of AL for aldehyde, AL. So, butanal, methanal. Now, if our functional group has a carbonyl and a hydroxyl group together on the same carbon, this is actually reclassified as a carboxyl functional group. And it is found in carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids. So this is an acidic hydrogen. And the suffix is oic acid. So ethanoic acid, methanoic acid. The aldehyde group is sometimes also known as a formal with a YL group. Just thought I'd add that in there. Now, if we have a carbonyl with a single bonded oxygen attached to another carbon, then what we have here is called an ester link or an ester linkage. So this is also a functional group and it's found in esters. And the suffix used in this is O8. The part before the O8 will depend on the length of the carbon chain, where the red R is. And there will also be a prefix in this name, and that will depend on how many carbons are in the other side, the blue R. But we're going to get into that in more detail later. If you have two carbon chains, that are joined with an oxygen between them. This is an alk oxy group, and these are found in ethers. What happens is there's two parts to the name. The first part has a suffix of oxy, and then comes the second part of the name, which is an alkane. If the carbon 
is attached to a nitrogen with hydrogens. This is called an amino group. And these are slightly basic because of the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen which can accept a hydrogen ion. So an amino group and these are classified as amines and the suffix is amine. If the functional group has a C with a double bonded O, so a carbonyl group that is attached to an amine. This is called an amide group. And this is amides and your suffix is amide. So that covers the main groups of hydrocarbon derivatives that we will be studying.